30-minute Rise and Shine Morning Practice. Every moment is an opportunity to begin anew. But beginning the day with your yoga practice will invigorate you, allow you to drop into the still point within, and to set an intention for yourself for the day of a quality of being that you seek to bring in to this day ahead. Begin first by connecting with your breath, noticing the rise and the fall of your breath in your body. Listen for the sound of your own breath and allow your mind to become soothed by this sound. Now bringing your hands together at your heart center, set your sankalpa, your intention. What is it that you seek to bring in to this new day? Once you've set your intention, interlace your fingers, draw your arms forward, and breathe into your upper back. Now guide your arms up, palms facing up, let your shoulders relax, and release your arms. Begin to draw your arms slightly back towards the end of your mat, keeping your hands flexed and pushing out through the heels of your hands. Now release your arms down, interlace your fingers, draw your shoulder blades towards each other and begin to fold at your hip crease, extending your arms up away from your low back. Breathe into this beautiful stretch for your shoulders. On your next inhale, guide yourself gently back up. Draw your left arm up and take your right hand to your left elbow, either remaining here or bringing the back of your hand to your low back and guiding your fingers towards each other or to meet for cow face pose arms. Breathe deeply and release. Taking now your right hand to the outside of your left knee for a gentle twist. Bring yourself back to center and now the same thing, other side. Drawing again your fingers towards each other or to touch, maintaining length in your spine. This position with your hands is known as Ganesh Mudra, the mudra to remove obstacles. Anytime any obstacles come upon your path today, come back to your intention. Now rotating in the opposite direction and breathing here, use your next inhale to come back to center, moving through your seated cat-cow. Inhale, drawing your heart forward, bringing your gaze up and lifting your chin for a nice stretch for your neck and then rounding your back, drawing your navel in towards your spine. Continue this way, synchronizing your breath with the movement and allow the movement to feel fluid in your body. Now come back to a neutral tabletop position and start to guide now yourself over towards your left side. Feeling into your body, into your shoulders, and the same thing, other direction. Move however feels good in your body. Releasing any tension that you notice in your shoulders or back. And now returning to a neutral spine. From here, coming into your reverse tabletop, have your fingers pointing towards your heels. Continue to draw your shoulder blades towards each other. And now bring your hips back down. Cross your ankles and come onto your hands and knees. And now extend your left leg out. 
Sweep your bicep by your ear and extend out through your fingers. Breathing here. And bring yourself now back into a downward facing dog. Walk your hands towards your feet. And now start to guide yourself closer in towards your legs. You can either have your arms in front of your legs or you can draw them behind you. Breathe deeply here, continuing to draw up through the sit bones. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Bend your knees and guide yourself into chair pose. Tuck your tailbone slightly under, sit a little deeper into it and keep extending out through your fingertips. Stay with your breath and then sweep your arms behind Keeping your legs exactly as they are, continue this movement, sweeping your arms back behind you, and then inhaling and drawing your arms back up. On your next breath, press into your feet and lift your heart. Exhale, fold. Walk your hands again forward, coming back to your downward facing dog. Now return back to coming down onto your knees and step your right foot forward, coming into a low lunge position. Draw now your left arm underneath your right for eagle arms. Continue to draw your elbows up towards the height of your shoulders. Breathing here. Now lift your knee, coming into a high lunge. Keep pushing out through your back heel. Pivot your heel down and come into Humble Warrior. As you guide yourself closer down towards the mat, ensure that your hip still remains lifted. Watch for collapsing into the left hip. Breathe into the stretch and use your next breath to walk your hands towards your foot Lifting now your left foot up away from the mat. Extend your arm up and bring your gaze up. On your exhale, walk your hands to frame your front foot, coming into Anjani Asana, sweeping your arms up. As you reach back through your fingers, keep your heart lifted. Exhale, fold. Lift your knee and step forward. Coming into your pyramid pose, begin to guide your forehead towards your shin. Keep your hips square. Breathe into the stretch for your hamstrings. And on your next inhale, step your back foot to meet your front. Lift and lengthen. Exhale, bend your knees and now guide yourself into Virabhadrasana 1. Extending your heart up, reaching back through your fingers. On your exhale, come to a plank position and move through your vinyasa flow. Chaturanga Dandasana, upward facing dog and returning to your downward facing dog and breathing here. On your next inhale, extend your right leg up. Bend your knee and guide your right foot to your right hand, bringing yourself into Virabhadrasana 2. In your warrior 2, guide yourself into goddess, cradling the back of your head, letting your head fall into your palm, reaching your heart up towards the sky or ceiling. Returning back to your Virabhadrasana 2, Bring your hands to your hips, draw your feet in, coming into goddess squat. Now, begin to allow your shoulder to drop down towards the center of your mat. And now, same thing other side, getting into a nice stretch for your shoulders. Same thing again, allow your shoulder to drop down. 
and again and coming back to center and doing the same once more. Now once you bring yourself up, start to frame your front foot, come back to your vinyasa flow. And returning back to your downward facing dog. Breathing here. Now come back down onto your knees, doing the same on the other side. Sweeping your arm by your ear, extending out through your fingers, and guiding yourself into your downward facing dog. Once more, walk your hands towards your feet, either bringing your arms in front or guiding yourself in with your arms behind, coming into your Uttanasana forward fold. Keep drawing up through the sit bones. Let your head be heavy. Breathe deeply. Now release your arms and inhale, lift and lengthen. Bend your knees. Guide yourself into your second chair. Now once more, begin to sweep your arms. As you do so, keep your legs strong and stable, reaching your arms back behind. And then inhaling, drawing your arms back up. Exhale, drawing your arms behind. And inhale, drawing your arms back up. Continue this way, sweeping your arms behind and bringing again your arms back up. Now from here, press into your feet and once more lift your heart. Reach back with your fingers and then exhale, fold. Walking again your hands back to a downward facing dog. Now, step your left foot forward, reach your arms up, and coming into eagle arms on this side. Keep reaching up with your elbows away from your chest, but allowing the shoulders to drop down. Remain here, and on your next inhale, lift your knee away from the mat, coming into your high lunge. Pivot your heel down, Virabhadrasana 2, Humble Warrior. Continue to draw back with your hip crease as you guide your forearms a little closer towards the mat. Feel a sense of surrender, of release. And now begin to walk your hands to the center of your mat. Lifting your left foot away from the mat and extending your arm up. Begin now to guide your hand back towards the front of the mat, framing your front foot, bringing your knee down, sweeping your arms up, and Anjani Asana. Keep pressing your palms together as you lift your heart. Now exhale, folding in by stepping your back foot three, three and a half feet, coming into pyramid pose on this side. Keep your hips square, keep the breath even, and wherever there's tension, soften, relax, and send the breath into that area. Now step your back foot to meet your front. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, step back, coming into Virabhadrasana 1 on this side. Lifting your heart, keep the bend in your front knee. Exhale, frame your front foot, come back to your plank, Chaturanga Dandasana, and your upward facing dog. Pull your heart forward and through your arms, and then exhale, return to downward facing dog. On your next breath, draw your left leg up. Keep drawing the ankle a little higher. Now bend your knee and guide your knee in towards you, stepping your foot and coming into your Virabhadrasana 2 on this side. Now draw your arm down your leg, reach your arm up and cradle the back of your head, keeping the bend in your front knee, lifting your sternum upwards. Stretch. 
straighten now your leg. Come back again into your goddess squat. Bring your hands above your knees and allow one shoulder to drop down. Bring your gaze up over the other and then the same thing on the other side. We'll do that once more on each side again. Dropping the shoulder down, bringing the gaze up over your shoulder. And again, same thing other side. Return back to center, press into your feet, and again, frame your front foot, come back and move through your vinyasa flow. Always remember, you can modify your vinyasa as you need. Now come down onto your knees, cross your ankles, and extend your legs out in front of you bringing your right foot to the inside of your left leg. Begin to fold forward, draw back at the hip crease, lead from your heart, and soften. Often at the beginning of the day, the muscles are still a little cool. So bend your knee as much as you need to as you fold forward, just as you did in your Uttanasana forward fold, if that was necessary for you. Now guide yourself up, Hug your knee in towards you, and now same thing other side, simply bringing your foot to the inside of your leg and folding forward. Inhaling now, guiding yourself slowly back up. Bring again your knee in towards your chest. Scoot yourself up your mat. Take your hands to the edge of your feet and begin to lift your legs. Bring your gaze to look up at your toes. Let your shoulders fall down away from your ears. Breathe deeply here. Now exhale, bringing your feet together and coming into Baddha Konasana. Let your forehead rest on your mat. With each exhale, softening the torso closer towards the feet and towards your mat. From here, guide yourself now down onto your back, coming into your thread the needle guiding your thigh towards you and drawing your knee away from you. Now draw your right foot to the inner crease of your left elbow and wrap your right elbow around your right knee, guiding your leg a little closer in towards your chest. If this is uncomfortable, return back to your thread the needle position. Now from here, cross your right leg over your left Begin to guide your feet a little closer towards you. Breathe into the stretch into your hip and release. Bring both of your knees in towards your chest and hug in tight. Coming into a gentle spinal twist, allow your knees to fall to the left as you roll your head to the right. Keep both of your shoulders firmly rooted on your mat. On your next inhale, guide yourself back to center and hug in tight. Coming into your thread the needle on the other side, interlacing your fingers behind your right thigh or releasing your leg and now drawing your left knee into the inner crease of your left elbow and wrapping your right elbow around your foot bringing your leg a little closer in towards your torso. Now again, cross your legs over, take your hands either to your ankles or the edge of your feet and begin to pull your feet gently towards your shoulders. Breathe into the stretch for your hip. And then as you exhale, release. Hug again your knees in towards your chest 
and now allow your knees to fall in the other direction. Keeping both of your shoulders connected to your mat. Breathe deeply here. And then bring yourself back to center. Extend your legs and flex your feet. Bring your arms beside you for a legs up the wall position. Now start to circle your ankles, going in one direction and then the other. And then allow your knees just to relax. Extend your arms up, bring your thumbs in towards your palms. Rolling your wrists in one direction and the other. And now let your elbows be relaxed. Allow your limbs to feel heavy your wrists, your elbows, your knees, and your ankles relaxed. Breathing here and start to now shake. Shake your hands, shake your arms, shake your legs, and just let go, let go of anything that feels dense, sticky, tight. And now start to roll, opening the knees away from each other and then going in the other direction, doing the same. And now hug your knees in towards your chest and rock yourself up. Come to your Sukhasana, a half lotus or a full lotus if that's available to you. Bringing your hands together at your heart. Come back to your Sankalpa, the intention that you set for this new day. Keep that intention in your heart and your mind. The light within me honors the light within you. Namaste.